Okay, this is uh, not so common here. Intergas Rapid 32. Gonna be uh, stripping it out, doing a service on it. Um, need to change the electrode, possibly the burner as well. Um, it's been giving, giving uh, explosive ignition. Uh, so we're gonna take it apart, see what the problem is, clean it up, and then give it a test. Okay, so that's the burner out, and that's the main heat exchanger there. Uh, this particular model doesn't actually have a plate heat exchanger. It does the uh, heating and hot water all through the main heat exchanger. Um, taking it out here and it's been giving explosive ignition. And the reason is, see the burner? It's all gone soft and spongy. That's why we've been getting intermittent um, ignition fault, explosive ignition. Um, not to mention the ignition electrode as well. Looks like it's uh, seen better days, so we're going to change electrode burner knit that's what they call it um, and it gives us all a, a clean through and a, a wash through as well so there we have the new electrode and the old one side by side so you can see clearly that one's seen better days popping the new electrode and the burner so see it's not spongy or it's not loose or anything compared to this one which is all it's all coming apart, so swap the burner over as well. And that should sort our problems out. So that's the new burner fitted on. Here's the old one, all loose and spongy. Change the ignition electrode as well. Change the electrode lead as well, just in the safe side. Don't have to go through all this work and then for one little thing, um, have a recall. So. Just from the safe side, I've changed all that as well. Heat exchange has been brushed out and cleaned through. I'm going to put it back together um, and do our 26.9 checks. Okay, that's all back together. Power's back on. It's shown the previous fault code. So let's just reset that. There we go. That fired up straight away with absolutely no explosive ignition whatsoever. See the burners lit there so yeah, that is spot on and we're now going to do our analyzer checks make sure everything's everything's all within parameters and we'll go wrap this up and we're good to go